Okay, thank, thank you, Paul. You, you pronounce my name is uh, perfect. <laughs> Hong Chi Guo, yeah. Okay, I'm an urban planner and an architect from China, Shanghai. And uh, we do a lot in, in, in China. Basically, my job is to change the surface of the planet as quick as possible. Just like the two, two slides I will show. This one is uh, one of my projects there in Guangzhou, close to the airport. And uh, after two years, this is the same location. This, uh, our project is named China and uh, Singapore Technical Town. It's uh, two years, you will have a brand new city there. That's uh, basically what we are doing there. Okay, why we should change the, the surface of the planet as quick as possible is because we move the most of, the, of our population from the rural side into the city. This is the number I can show to you. From the, uh, uh, 2010 until now, it's, uh, we already moved 147 million people from countryside to the city center. And in the next uh, 12 years until 2030, there will be more 202 million people move from the rural side to the city center. If we compare the, 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 the size of the, the number into England, uh, not England, UK, it's a three UK. Next 12 years, we have to move three UK population from the countryside to the city center. So that's the reason why we have to do our job as an urban planner and an architect to do our our best works into to create a city, to prepare for them. That's, that's our job. Totally, we move 349 million people. That's the, the, the population in EU, the whole population in EU, inside the city. So we create that. So <clears throat> how we can do that? You will say, OK, you can't just push the people from the countryside to the city center. Why they want to do that? China have two weapons. It's very unique. The first one, <clears throat> there are only five countries in, in the world have the land nationalization. All the land belongs to our central government, all the lands. So how we can deal with the land is depending on the government. We can do that. The first, the first thing is the land, and the second thing, we have an identity card system. It's very unique, it's, it's special, and uh, it's unfair sometimes. I, I, I should say this. It's because the, the people come from countryside, have the different education opportunity and uh, uh, hospital, and everything is different with the people come from the urban space. So when we want to move the people from the countryside to a city center, just give them the different identity card number, it's okay, because they can got the better opportunity to, to go inside a better school and a better hospital. That's the reason why we can move them. So land plus people, we can create city. That's a very unique tool of China. So as a, a planner and a architect, we, we, we have projects uh, more than uh, 60 cities in China, is, uh, yeah, all over, the, all over China. And uh, we serve for the top five uh, uh, real estate developers in China, and uh, they, they are also the top five in the world. You, you should know that in Fortune 500, there are only five real estate developers. In Fortune 500, there are only five companies for real estate development. They all come from China. It's because just now I talk about how many people we move. So they have to prepare all the things for them. So I use 10 years to, to talk about the, the chi, uh, Chinese uh, urbanization process. 10 years before, my company always make CBD. Because at that time, all the city need a business center. They think they, are, they will be New York. They will be, they, they will be the, the center. They, they will be. Uh, London to, to, to build the business center. CBD, something like this, we designed this uh, 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 Wuhan IFC, International Financial City. We draw this, this uh, drawing, I use this perspective to show to the mayor, in the future in Wuhan, you will have a business district like this. 
And that's a photo that year. I showed, I, I showed this perspective to them. There is a land close to the river. There's a factory, a huge factory in front of the river. And uh, <clears throat> in the last year, yeah, it's uh, something like this. Yeah, you can, you can get to catch the feeling from the shadow. How, what about the height of that tower? Okay, the, just uh, something like this. Like uh, we, are, we, we draw the, like we draw the perspective that year, but it come into reality. I love the, the topic of this stage. It's something like a future is now. Future, in China, it's a today is future, to, tomorrow is a reality. And uh, okay, uh, after CBD, we make a new town. New town means some uh, uh, brand new city close to airport or close to something, uh, train station, all this kind of uh, facilities. This is, this is one as, uh, in Zhengzhou in the middle of, in the middle of China. And uh, uh, Chinese, develop, uh, Chinese government decided to make the biggest uh, uh, airports for international trade. So airport company move out the factory close to the Airport, just in the, the right side of this perspective, there is the biggest uh, factory for our iPhone. All our iPhone X come from this city. And uh, we design a brand new city close to a factory and close to the airport. And uh, you can see the photo, and uh, that's a land in uh, 2014. And uh, that's the photo of, uh, of now. And uh, all the brand new city there. Uh, you can see uh, a park in the middle. Uh, inside the city. The park is uh, a little bit bigger than Central Park in New York, in Manhattan. And, uh, and in this photo, you can see there is, a, there is a, a new development in the left side corner. There is a small lake. I show this perspective. It's uh, the first phase of the residential area. We designed that, and uh, they built that. It's a uh, European style, because the, the because the town is far away from the city center, all the people, why you can move them out? So you, you tell them you can move into a European city, enjoy your life like uh, Annecy. This is Annecy. <laughs> Annecy is there. You know the French, uh, French city? Okay, after New Town, we make CRH district. CRH is uh, uh, China Railway High Speed. It's a high speed railway. And uh, every, this is the first line of uh, CRH. First line, you, you, you even cannot see that. It's a, it's a very short one in 2004, and uh, now we have this map. This map is reality, it's not planning. It's a, it's a reality. And if we zoom in, every point on the line, there is a city. The city always have a, the, the, the railway station always have a several kilometers to the, to the original city center. So there is a, a distance, you can build a new city. So we built like this. It's a, there is a, always a station, and uh, then we, we fix uh, the distance with all the residential, uh, shopping mall, uh, 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 all the business district, all this kind of thing, put into the new town. And uh, to use all this kind of uh, uh, ecological design and uh, smart design, to use all the, high, uh, the uh, different technology of next generation to, to build that. After the CRH district, we dis the, the central government decide we have too many rural places. We cannot move all the people from the rural place into several big cities. So we decided to make a movement. We named the, that is a characteristic town. This is a, a, a small town far away from the Shanghai or Guangzhou or this kind of city. It's far away. It's a, it's a rural place, but at that point, of land, we will build this kind of low density town to make the local people can move inside and to enjoy a different kind of uh, uh, style of life. You can see in the middle of the, the project, there is a shopping center, but uh, no super high rise, no high rise office, just for service, for, for service for our people live here. You can see the, it's a community center we design and uh, we will finish this year and uh, yeah, with all the culture, cultural design characters. After we go far away from Shanghai uh, and uh, go to the rural space, and we have to come back to urban space. So from uh, 2017 to now, we always get the urban renewal projects. It means we have to make a renovation for old factory in the city center. This one is the biggest uh, aluminum 
a factory in Guiyang, and we make a renovation for it. We keep some uh, warehouse, and we put some uh, uh, new residential condos building into the factory, and to, to make it like a culture uh, mix, uh, mixed use district. And uh, we built this uh, uh, show hall, it's something like a community center also in three months from design to finish the build, and then we open the gate to the public. The, that's, a, that's a building inside of the factory. And uh, yeah, that's a, from a, a different angle, can, can see that. <clears throat> and uh, from the last year until now, when we have, a, when we have so many new cities, we, will have, uh, we have to have more school and hospital. So from last year until now, we always be committed to design this kind of project. It's, uh, this is a school. This school is in Shanghai, and uh, there is a, a warehouse 800 meters long, and uh, the, the government of Shanghai decided to move the Shanghai Fine Art School into this uh, huge um, warehouse. So we, we designed this. We keep the building and uh, move all the classroom, all the, all, all the uh, facility functions into, into this building. Yeah, just to do something like this. So that's the story of the 10 years. Basing on these 10 years, you will know it's uh, something like uh, we, we are talking about 100 years. It's, uh, yes, it is. 10 years ago, we think China needs a big city, huge city, and a business district. But now, we go out from the city center, go to the rural place of the west part of China, and then we come back to, to all the huge cities center to, to make a renovation and give more good facilities for the people. Why we have to do that? I show you this photo. This is a typical countryside of China. And you, if you talk about why you, you kick them out from them a home, from their home, yes, that's their home. That's the situation they suffer. So they need to move out to some new place. This photo is for, is for that uh, uh, a new town close to Zhengzhou Airport. And then, after several years, this is the same location. You can see that this is the photo about that central, central park just now you, you see on the satellite map. And uh, there is a fountain show every weekend. All the people gather and enjoy the life and enjoy their brand new living standard here. That's the reason why we have to create more new cities. So, at the end of the presentation, I show you this photo. I'm working on this project for this year, and I will organize a summit in Shanghai to gather all the international brands, and the U UNWTO, and the USC, United Smart City, all the international organizations come to China, come to Shanghai, to have a meeting with the mayor to talk about this new development. This is the Shanghai Water Sports Island Park. That's a totally different kind of uh, urbanization in China. That's, that's facing the next generation. I would say why I come to here is to, to to thinking about what's the next step of our organization. The past 10 years is about number, but the next 10, 12 years is about quality. The quality is based on prop tech and all this kind of thinking. So, welcome all of you to come to China to, to enjoy the, the fast speed there, and uh, I think that's also the duty of you to, to help 1.4 billion people enjoy a better life. Thank you. <laughs> you any question or, or yeah? Um, yeah. A lot of story, in fact. Uh, yeah. Are there any specific prop prop tech type of uh, companies that you're looking for that will really enable the vision? For example. For this kind of a city, you know, we always talk about the prop tech, but prop tech, how, how we can do that in this kind of huge, huge, a uh, huge development? The first of all is we need a platform to, to control everything, to, to combine all the technology into one platform. 
or something like a smart, a smart city platform to control the traffic lights, control the parking space. In this project, we, we have the duty to make that, but I'm still looking for. I'm still looking for some, some, some tec technique to support this kind of thing. It's, it's not, yes, here we always uh, to talk about uh, yeah, save energy. Uh, yes, we, we will do that. But first of all, we should make a whole platform to combine all the technology and easily to execution. It's, it's not only talk. OK, question over here, gentlemen. Yep. Uh, yeah. I was, uh, I was amazed that you uh, you spent three months from concept to finish yeah. in terms of some of the buildings. Uh, from from, from we decided to make that building yeah. to finish. So, three months. So my, so my, uh, my, my question is really around what data do you use up front in order to get to that decision to make sure that what you're building is the correct and right thing so that you're not just building quickly and having just a build for the sake of building as opposed <coughs> to building for a need in particular? So I think the, the, the designer there should be Superman every day. And uh, yeah, we, we, every time we make a decision for this, we have uh, two or three weeks to talk about it, to talk about what we should do for this new city, two or three weeks. And after that, we need to finish the drawing. And it's a risky for, for urban planner and architects in China. Now, you don't have time to make a mistake or fix them. You just uh, make the decision and uh, finish the drawing in the next uh, two weeks or three weeks, and then they will begin to build that. Yeah. Like just now, that three months building, even we only talk that for two days, and we, we make drawing for two weeks, they began to build that. Pre fabric, steel structure. And we have 200 workers. Just before we open the building, the, that night is uh, no sleep. 200 workers plant trees and flowers. And then in the morning, 8 o'clock, all the people gather uh, surrounding the building and they can enjoy it. Yeah, that's the way of China. Yeah. <laughs> OK. I, I had a question. A lot of us are very concerned about climate change and the climate crisis. And, you know, the, the planet is under threat from carbon emissions, from waste, from all sorts of issues. And how important is low carbon sustainability, the whole climate change agenda in China? You know, our Chinese suffer from the pollution we create by ourselves. So that's the past. We, we, we cannot ignore that, but we have to fix that. So at the present, in China, every city has a red line. The red line is a circle, central government to make a decision. And all the buildings have to gather into the city, in, in, into a high density development. We will not spread our city to destroy the na nature anymore. And we gather the people in the, in the uh, city center. And then the government always, now, is, yeah, from these years, it's not before. You know, before, they, they don't take care of that. But these years, we, we talk about how to use the sustainable technology to save energy, to give, give, they can give benefit to the real estate developer, give them some benefit for the land, and uh, yeah, to, to, to persuade them to, to do the sustainable development. Yeah. There's a question there, the lady. Yes, thank you. Hi, this was fascinating. Thank you so much. I think we have a lot to learn from China. Um, considering that you are working on sort of mass urbanization and building cities from, from the ground up, mm -hmm. how much consideration are you giving for future technologies like autonomous vehicles um, in terms of planning around future technologies like that? Yeah, it's uh, for, um, because you know in China, we, we have a very strong local government. Yeah, so we can just uh, give them a, uh, you know, in Shanghai, the, the, our drive, drive license plate is uh, much expensive. Sometimes it's more, more, more expensive than a car. You know that? We can, we can use this kind of rules to control the, 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 the cars inside of the city. And we encourage, just like this, this one, inside of this new development, we make a decision don't make a lot of a parking space for them. We, because. We have a negotiation with the mayor of Shanghai, and we already got a sub-metro line come to here. Just to, just to give the benefit of the public transportation to, to do that. 
of course, a lot of work I have to do to, 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 to improve, yeah. Okay, maybe time for one last quick question. If there's anybody, any more hands? No? Okay, Let's, okay. Uh, that was a huge privilege to get that insight into China and the urbanizing project. Thank you very, very much. Please join me. Okay, thank you.